Traditionally, if you were in the market for a compact crossover, the Toyota RAV4 and Honda CR-V would be your go-to options, as they're economical, practical, and versatile. But now in 2022, there's a list of alternatives that could sway your decision. Since upsizing and becoming a great all-around value, the Volkswagen Tiguan adds a European flavor into the mix, where the ride quality and driving experience gives you a taste of German engineering and design. In a segment that is dominated by Japanese brands, is Volkswagen worthy of your attention? And is the Tiguan a crossover that can slot into place and be the perfect vehicle for you? Well, here are five reasons why you should buy a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan. For the 2022 model year, the main talking point is the mid-cycle refresh that affects both the exterior and interior. And if you're a current owner of a Tiguan, you'll quickly notice the changes this crossover went through, primarily when it comes to the technology and dashboard layout. Standard for all trims is a digital gauge cluster, but it should be noted that the SELR line will have the larger 10.5-inch display that's of higher quality, and along with that comes the upgraded Fender audio system and ventilated leather seats. Our model, being an R-line, was equipped with the heated leatherette seats, which did offer a good amount of support. But keep in mind, bolstering won't be too aggressive, so you may slide around a bit when cornering. 2022 also ushers in Volkswagen's new steering wheel design and haptic touch buttons, which we feel are a step back from prior model years. Then as you take a glance over to the infotainment system, button layout is the same. However, the touch sensitive technology is a departure from the analog layout, and that becomes more noticeable for the climate control settings. While not the most user friendly, the Tiguan's interior for 2022 is better than what you'll experience inside the completely redesigned GTI and Golf R, while still retaining familiarity from last year. The Tiguan has become one of the best-selling compact crossovers globally, as Volkswagen listened intently to consumers and designed a vehicle that meets the demands of families. With rivals either transitioning to new generations or receiving updates, the Tiguan's unassuming road presence was becoming outdated and uninspiring. But for 2022, the cosmetic facelift modernizes the exterior. Following the design language of the GTI and Jetta, the Tiguan now appears to be a bit more athletic and aerodynamic, despite retaining its boxy shape. The front fascia's new look, particularly for the SELR line trim, gives this crossover a much needed upscale vibe, as an LED strip that runs through the emblem and flows into the headlights is a classy touch that was missing in the past. While we wouldn't look at the Tiguan as being sporty, the R line's gloss black accents enhances the front end overall complementing the refreshed headlight housings that replaced the rectangular shape on previous models. Even with its boxier dimensions, the sharp body lines that extend the length of the Tiguan and the thinner C-pillars have a profound effect, as it's not just going to blend in on the road with its competitors, and it's this trim specifically that has a dynamic appearance, and is more eye-catching than the S and SE. If you're the type of buyer primarily focused on the practicality and utility the compact crossover market provides, your options are ultimately going to be limited, as some vehicles in this segment, like the Mazda CX-5, aren't the most spacious, nor are they the go-to option if you do have a growing family. The Volkswagen Tiguan is no stranger to once being considered too small, as the first generation was nothing more than what we consider today as being a subcompact crossover. But for 2022, it's right in line with the Toyota RAV4, Honda CR-V, and the completely redesigned Hyundai Tucson. First off, for second row passengers, the amount of leg and headroom is abundant, and it's very likely you'll be able to fit a third person in the center seat, which isn't normally the case for some competitors. For rear cargo space, you're looking at right around 36.5 cubic feet of room, which is identical to the Toyota RAV4, and about 2 cubic feet less than the Honda CR-V. Thanks to the higher roofline, you can easily stack up items back here, and overall, the Tiguan is a great vehicle that's perfect for road trips. 
Even better, Volkswagen is one of few brands to offer an optional third row, but we recommend taking a look at the Atlas as interior space will be more accommodating for families. While the Tiguan may fall a bit short in some areas, its practicality is why it's the best-selling Volkswagen here in the US. It's a given in this market that you'll find a crossover that is suitable for your driving style and most importantly, your family. But this segment is riddled with a number of competitors where the handling, performance, and even the transmission can sour your experience when getting behind the wheel. The Volkswagen Tiguan not only has the benefit of being built on the highly respected MQB platform, but unlike some Japanese rivals, this compact crossover doesn't have the resented CVT transmission. While many are begging for Volkswagen to offer a more potent powertrain, the 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that puts out 184 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque and is paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission is sufficient enough to get on the highway quickly and safely. Considering that most vehicles in this market are underpowered, there's no real incentives for Volkswagen to offer a GTI or R variant, and since you will have a traditional automatic, there won't be consistent droning when accelerating. Grabbing our attention was the smooth and crisp handling, and despite its lack of a weighted steering that we normally experience with German crossovers, there's still a sense of refinement and a small hint of athleticism that provides some feedback on winding back roads. Of course, the suspension is softer so you won't get abused on poorly treated roads, and with the adequate amount of shoulder room, you're going to be all around comfortable on your daily commutes. Compact crossovers are manufacturers bread and butter, and their popularity simply comes down to pricing and practicality. But there's always flaws and drawbacks that make you reconsider whether it's the right vehicle for your family. And you can point to and rightfully claim that opting for the mid-size or full-size SUV in the lineup would be the better alternative to purchase. During our time with the Volkswagen Tiguan, it became crystal clear that this crossover is a no-brainer for most buyers as the accolades go far beyond its affordability and almost class-leading rear cargo space. When you factor in the spacious interior, available technology, smooth driving dynamics, and now streamlined looks, the value proposition that Volkswagen has here with this crossover rivals many in this segment. Sure, critics have been vocal about the lack of performance with the current turbocharged four-cylinder engine, and the transition to touch-sensitive buttons has affected user-friendliness. But if you don't need a third row and lack the desire for a V6 that's optional for the larger Atlas, the Tiguan provides all the intangibles you're looking for. It's practical, priced competitively, and more importantly, is comfortable for all occupants. And that's why we believe this compact crossover is the best in the Volkswagen lineup. We hope you enjoyed this quick buyer's guide for the 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan. Please like, comment, Share and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in buying a Volkswagen Tiguan or any other compact crossover, make sure to check out our full reviews to help you find your next vehicle. And thanks for watching.